So I already ranked the top 10 shortstops and third basemen in MLB The Show 22. So today we are talking the second baseman spot. Who is the best second baseman in MLB The Show 22 right now? We have great options like Chase Utley. We have Jazz. We have that Tommy Edmond card. New legend Ray Durham. Ton of great options in the comments down below. Let me know who is your favorite second baseman in Diamond Dynasty right now. And if you're excited for this one, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. And make sure to go follow me over on Twitch because we are going to be live today live streaming MLB The Show 22. We're going to be playing Ranked Seasons, BR, No Money Spent, all that good stuff. So I hope to see you there and I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. All right, so we are going to talk the top 10 second basements in the game. We have a couple more infield positions to do. Then we're going to move into the outfield. And I do have to say, before we even talk about any of these cards, the second basements in this game are way better than what we had at MLB The Show 21 last year with the additions of Chase Utley. We're going to get Jackie Robinson this week, it looks like, from Jackie Robinson Day. We have Ray Durham. We have a couple other cards that got upgrades like Jazz Chisholm got that 90 overall face of the franchise card. We got that 90 overall Tommy Edmond. So second base in this game is nowhere as Thin as it was in MLB The Show 21. I'm super happy about that. So we do have a ton of great cards and all these cards could definitely fit in on your main team right now, but let's try to rank them the best way we possibly can. And like my other videos, these are just my opinion. So if you agree or disagree with my rankings, that is completely okay in the comments down below. Feel free to let me know your top 10 second basements in the game right now, but we will start things off with 85 overall Jose Altuve at number 10. He has diamond hitting, bronze defense. He's just really bad in the field. He has decent power and confidence against righties which is what you want to see and if you get him on a good inside edge day that's going to help too because you'll see today he has plus eight contact and power against righties so today he actually might be a better second base than the number 10 because he is going to have 88 contact against righties 88 power against righties today due to his inside edge boost another thing that he does have is actually his size five foot six actually makes it extremely difficult to pitch to Altuve in this game because he does have that smaller strike zone and when you throw it over the plate he does have enough power to get it out of the ballpark but he is a little one-sided, but it is better to be one-sided righty-wise than it is lefty-wise, like number nine that we're going to talk about. But I do like number nine swing a little bit better than Jose Altuve, and that's why I'm going with him at number nine and Altuve at 10. He's okay against lefties, though. 75 contact against lefties, 65 power against lefties. At the second baseman spot, you don't have to be an amazing fielder. This is where you put your shortstops, your third basements, or your second basements at this spot with bad defense. That way you can hide their defense a little bit. 70 fielding, 47 arm, 82 accuracy, 72 reaction time with 67 speed and 36 steel. You can get this card extremely budget friendly right now for about 12,500 subs with a buy order. Definitely a good starting second baseman option. At number nine, we are going to have Cattell Marte. I mentioned already, Jose Altuve swing is pretty solid, but Cattell Marte has one of my favorite swings at the second baseman position. He's also a switch handed bat. Now he's definitely more one side against lefties than he is against righties and Altuve is better against righties than he is lefties, which is definitely what you want, but Marte isn't horrible against righties and if you are facing a lefty and we do have better lefty pitching in the game this year too he absolutely destroys lefties this car looks like an end game car against lefty arms he has 120 contact against lefties and today on an inside edge day he's gonna have max contact against lefties at 125 he has base 93 power against lefties and today it's 104 power against lefties this guy has to be on your bench for whenever you face a lefty late in games put Cattel Marte into the game great swing he absolutely mashes lefty arms and like I said with Altuve fielding stats aren't crazy when it comes to second basements you don't need really a gold glove you put your worst defensive infielder at second base and he'll be just fine 63 fielding 64 arms 65 accuracy 65 react time and then 54 speed i love Cattell Marte swing he's a great bench bat against lefty arms you have to have him on your bench or second base if you want to pick him up he's about 12k on the market at number eight we have that new legend in chase utley 88 overall and this is not the only chase utley that we're going to see on this list 88 overall he has that 97 that we're going to talk about in a little bit and this 88 overall card is honestly really really solid at the plate. His power is a little low for my liking. That's what holds him back from being higher up on the list. But one of the best fielders at the position, you don't need a great fielder at second base, but it definitely doesn't hurt to have 88 fielding, 79 arm, 
83 accuracy, 87 reaction time, 67 speed. And the contact is solid against righties. 90 contact against righties, 77 against lefties, 71 power against righties. We'll get it done for a little bit. He will phase out very shortly with that low power. 55 against lefties though, not very good. So I do recommend you keep Cattell Marte on your bench. If you go up against a lefty, then put Cattell Marte into the game. If you go up against a righty, leave this Chase Utley in the game. But he is a great starter option. And again, extremely budget friendly for only about 15K. At number seven, I'm going to go with the 90 overall face of the franchise, Jay Cronenworth. This card and the Utley card are extremely close. They're about very similar on paper and in game. They play about the same. They're both lefty bats. Pretty solid swings, pretty good fielders. Cronenworth actually has more speed and a little bit more power than the 88 overall Chase Utley. That's why I'll take Cronenworth over that Chase Utley card. 85 contest against righties, 75 against lefties, 77 power against righties, 54 against lefties. Fielding stats are solid. 81 fielding, 69 arm, 90 accuracy, 82 reacts time, 82 speed. It is very close between him and that Utley card. This card's actually a little cheaper too. You can get it for about 13K. At number six, we are going to have the 91 overall Craig Biggio. Now we're going to get a better Craig Bijou at some point throughout the entire year like we did last year I think this is like the first card we got and will be the show 21 for Bijou too I think it's the same exact card art too so we will get a better Craig Bijou at some point but this card the power just not going to get it done for me at the beginning of the year you need more power than this throughout the entire year 57 power against righty 67 against lefties just not going to get it done other than that though does everything really really well he's an 86 contest against righties 97 against lefties 87 fielding 79 arm 82 accuracy 86 Rack time 83 speed 82 steel and then 89 base running aggression very well rounded just the power is too low for me and honestly not the best swing either i know when the better card comes out he will be higher ranked on this list but for right now not the biggest fan of this card if you want to pick him up though he's about thirty-seven thousand stubs on the market or you can get him in the br program at number five we are going to have the live series 87 overall marcus Semyon. this card absolutely destroys righties the stats might not say so but he plays above in game Semyon's lightning card from last year people loved it the entire year and this live series card is a good start to what possibly could be more cards for Marcus Semyon down the road this season. 71 contest against righties, 59 against lefties, 85 power against righties, 75 against lefties. Again, if you're going up against a righty, this Marcus Semyon card is great and you more than likely are going to face a righty. But if you do wind up facing a lefty, that again is why you keep Cattell Marte on your bench. Bring him in for Semyon. But if you're facing a righty, Marcus Semyon is absolutely amazing. 81 fielding, 63 arm, 76 accuracy, 83 reaction time, 78 speed. He might not look great on paper, like I said, but in-game he plays above the stats. He's about 15,000 stubs on the market. At number four, we have an extremely underrated card, in my opinion, and that is the 90 overall Tommy Edmund. This card, for the most part, does everything exceptionally well. The only knock on him is that power against righties and why I cannot put him higher up on this list, but he is a switch-handed bat. 80-plus in the contact against both sides, 82 against righties, 85 against lefties, 80 power against lefties. It's just that power that's at the 50 spot, which is going to hold him back from being higher up on the list because I do really like his swing. He is extremely versatile. He can play second base, third base, shortstop, left field, center field, right field. Can play almost every single position on the field. So there could be a spot on your team for this Tommy Edmund card. He is a great defender. He has great speed, 95 fielding, 70 arm, 91 accuracy, 97 reaction time with 88 speed 72 steel 82 base running aggression he checks every single box except that power against righties and i wish he had it higher because i would use him on my team as my starting second baseman until i get number one on this list because of lack of power though i got up him at number four if you want to pick him up though great budget option all these second basements are pretty much pretty cheap for about 13k at number three we're actually gonna have a car that i have not used yet but i've watched a lot of videos on him and a ton of people have told me that his swing is absolutely amazing the ball flies off his bat despite only having 67 power against righties and 65 against lefties and that is going to be the 90 overall Ray Durham. I believe he's a new legend in the game this year. I don't think he had a card last year. 88 contest against righties, 92 against lefties, 82 fielding, 74 arm, 78 accuracy, 84 reaction time, and then 90 speed. The only knock on this card is the power, but a lot of people are telling me that the power actually doesn't matter. The stats don't do justice to this Ray Durham card in game because they say the ball actually flies off his bat. He has a switch handed bat. He checks all the boxes besides the power on paper. So he's at number three and if you want to pick him up, he's in the White Sox Live Series collection. At number two, we are going to have 90 overall Jazz. And everybody loves Jazz. We love the energy that he brings. He loves MLB the show. He's going to be Euro stepping home runs for you the entire year. And this Jazz has a great swing. He's a lefty bat. He checks all the boxes for the most part. Completely well-rounded. Very good second baseman card. You want a guy that can hit for power? He can do that. You want a guy that can hit for contact? He can do that too. He also can make a lot of great players for you at the second baseman spot. And he has amazing speed for the beginning of the year. 
73 confidence against righties, 76 against lefties, 84 power against righties, 76 against lefties. Fielding stats, he has 90 fielding, 91 reaction time, which are the two most important fielding stats for a second baseman because they're not going to have to make a super far throw. So getting to the spot is the most important thing about a second base and the fielding and reaction time stat will definitely help out with that. He doesn't have a horrible arm by any means, 74 arm, 79 accuracy, and then he comes with that 91 speed, 80 steal, and 75 base running aggression. I'm getting this Jazz card for my main team very, very soon to be my starting second baseman. If you want to pick him up, he's about 20k on the market. At number one, we are going to have the 97 overall Chase Utley. I'm sure this is not a surprise to you all. The highest rated second baseman by a lot. Jazz was at number two at a 90 overall. Chase is a 97 overall, so seven overalls higher. It would make sense he's going to be the top second baseman in the game, but we're going to be getting a Jackie Robinson card this week. Maybe that Jackie's going to be better than Chase Utley. We will have to see, but I love this Chase Utley card. I can't wait to get him on my main team. I've used him in BR. He has pretty solid pop at the plate, great contact, an amazing fielder, and pretty good speed. I wonder if we're going to get a better Chase Utley card than this 97 overall. I would say so, but this is a good starting point for a new legend in the game. 102 contest against righties, 96 against lefties, 90 power against righties, 85 against lefties. Has amazing fielding and reacts time, like I just said with Jazz. The two most important fielding stats for second baseman in the game. 98 fielding, 97 reacts time, 82 arm. 86 accuracy and then 72 speed 66 steel and 54 base running aggression it's going to take a little bit to get this card though because you do have to get the grom you have to get scherzer you have to get juan soto bryce harper all the diamonds in the nl east live series collection all right everyone that's gonna do it for the video today the top 10 second basins in the game let me know in the comments down below what did i get right what did i get wrong we're all gonna have different lists these were just my opinion but if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you're new i would greatly appreciate it make sure to follow me at my social links, including my Twitch channel, which I'm going to be live from tonight, grinding no money spent, ranked seasons, BR, all that good stuff. But I'll see you all there. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.